Hey, buzz and good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News, and I'm Joe Borick, and it seemed like the Eagles, specifically Howie Roseman, finally listened to his scouts and got the man that they wanted. It seemed like the Eagles might have wanted going into this draft of reading up on things and everything, Waddle over Smith, but they were able to get somebody, reunite him with Jalen Hurts, the quarterback that they want to go forward with for this year, it seems, and see what he's able to do. I know Sirianni said there's going to be a competition because he loves competition, but Hurts is going to win that over Flacco in the tail end of his career, who's a very good backup to have a very good guy to have in the room, but not going to be your starter. It's good to reunite Devontae Smith, Devonta Smith, excuse me, with Jalen Hurts. I mean, this dude's a beast. Yes, his size is the thing you can be concerned about if you want to be concerned about that, but they showed highlight films of him on the pre-draft show for the uh, Eagles yesterday and the post-draft show, and I've watched a lot since we drafted him. If you look at him, he actually has a pretty good wingspan, actually gets the ball in traffic, isn't afraid to run over the middle despite his size. And like Ray Dinger joked, he's coming to Philly, so he's probably going to bulk up pretty good in the land of cheesesteaks, soft pretzels, etc., etc., if he wants to do such as a joke. But he's a guy that actually holds his own, isn't afraid to go over to the middle, like even someone that was a star here, but at time was earlier in his career, was D-Jack, who I loved watching, wouldn't always go over the middle. Devonta Smith, they show, there's many highlights of him, if you look at his high rule, that he does go over the middle, gets hit, gets right back up and celebrates with his Bama teammate. He also goes up to get the ball better than most guys at his side. His catch radius is really good. Waddle is probably the better, obviously, explosive playmaker, but the difference is Devonta Smith actually catches the ball really well in terms of not having a lot of drops. I don't think I have a lot of drops. Waddle will probably have more drops because he sometimes traps it, but once you get the ball in either of those guys' hands, they're dynamic, elusive, and disgusting in a good way, and that's what the Eagles got in Smith. They had the trade ahead. Uh, some fans, it seemed like, from following social media were a little I'll put by that, but they traded ahead to get somebody that has a relationship with Jalen Hurts. Traded ahead to get somebody in the most position of need offensively, which is wide receiver, because Miles Sanders was just misused. He had 1,000 scrimmage yards, so I think, obviously, excuse me, that would be a very, that's a very good stat to have. He's just not getting used. He could have 1,000 rushing yards if he got used correctly instead of just 1,000 overall scrimmage yards, but Getting Smith in is perfect for Jalen Hurts. You're trying to see what you have in Hurts. He already has a relationship with Jalen Hurts. He's going to come in. He's going to fit in well. We saw somebody in Quez Watkins, who was, I think, a fifth-round pick, look all right with Jalen Hurts in at quarterback and actually get him going with screens. screens. Imagine how Devonta Smith will look when he's in with Jalen Hurts, who's actually one of the best out of this draft. The dude obviously led the NCAA in receptions for a reason, and receiving yards with 1856, and receiving TDs with 23 to win the Heisman. Um, reports have said, though, the thing that I really like about him, because obviously I wouldn't know this without reading reports, I can't form my own opinion on a guy's personality, is his personality, they say, is blue collar. It's actually, for a Heisman guy, it's nothing like a guy, like some guys in the past that won the Heisman that have more of those um, Des Bryant or full-blown T.O. personality. He actually kind of has that personality that should fit in perfectly. He can get the ball, go up and get it a lot better than anyone in his size. His catch radius is ridiculous for a guy of his size. He's a guy <clears throat> that is weird when you look at comparisons because ESPN put Calvin Ridley and then I was watching on NFL Network. They put Isaac Bruce, uh, who just got into the Hall of Fame last season and then also talked about Marvin Harrison who's also obviously in the Hall of Fame. So that's a little bit of a discrepancy. Calvin Ridley's good. We'd love to have someone like him, but obviously if you can have someone like Isaac Bruce, that would be ridiculous that Ray Dininger also mentioned as a name as well. Regardless, though, as I wrap up this video, I'm just happy and elated that Howie Roseman, it seemed to listen to his scout. We still have that Dolphins pick. We still have a pick from the Colts of Wentz plays 75% of his snap or 70 and they make the playoffs. So the Eagles are still looking good. Yes, they traded back and then they had to trade up again. I understand some people got mad at that, but they traded up smartly. They didn't give up a crap ton like the Bears had to because they were trading for a quarterback. They were trading for a receiver, so they gave up what was needed and a good haul, in my opinion, to be able to get Devonta Smith, bring him in who has a relationship with her, be a true number one wide receiver. The Eagles will finally have a true number one wide receiver, and it'll be interesting to see this evening if they decide to go defense. There's a lot of good corners still on the board. There's a lot of good O-linemen or D-linemen uh, still on the board as well, or if they decide to double up on receivers since the Eagles really haven't had two very good drafted wide receivers since Macklin and DJ were both on the team at the same time because Jay Jaw seems like he's kind of a bust. This will be the last year to show anything, but we would be probably all surprised if he does much. Reger just can't stay healthy. He had over 300 some yards. Looked all right when on the field. So it doesn't seem like you can put him at bus level yet. You have to see what he can do this year. But you obviously should not have picked him. You should have picked Jefferson. They made the right decision this year. That's a good thing to see. It looked like Howie wrote. 
Roseman finally listened to his scouts and Andy Wheeled, the assistant. And they're doing a good job in finally listening. Hopefully that continues this evening as the second day of the NFL draft will be happening. The Eagles have an early second round pick. I wouldn't be surprised if Elijah Moore's still there if they decide to double up on wide receiver because they could use wide receiver help and to just get two guys in-house. And then you have the scrappy Greg Ward. They picked up on a practice squad that showed he can hang in the pros. And then Travis Fulgham, who's still kind of a story of what can we actually get from him and still trying to wait to see. Had a good few games there and then kind of fell off. So we'll see what we're able to get from him. But I think it wouldn't be unheard of to get two wide receivers, but I'm elated with the first pick. Howie Roseman finally listened to the scouts, finally seemed to listen to his assistant Andy Wheel, and got the right guy by trading up for him, which made him seem like he even listened to them even more because he traded up for the guy that it seemed like they wanted to get if they couldn't get Jalen Waddle at the wide receiver position, which was Devonta Smith. So very good job by the Eagles. Finally, I'm surprised I'm saying this, but I am saying it. Hopefully, I'll be saying it after tonight as well. Very good job by Howie Roseman, and I would give this draft grade an A. I don't always do the pluses, so I'll go with an A. Doing a very good job. You finally got the guy you want. You didn't pick some random guy out of the, um, out of like the Pac-12 or so, or like some belt or some random conference that the Eagles tend to draft people from. So I think it was a very good pick. They did a good job. Devonta Smith breaks off of his defenders greatly. He can catch the ball better than anyone at his size you've seen in a long time. I think that's why people have mentioned Isaac Bruce and Marvin Harrison. And he can obviously also skate a good bit himself. He's really fast once he gets the ball. Not to the degree of Waddle, but also can explode once he gets the ball as well. I hope everyone enjoyed this reaction to the Devonta Smith pick. Let's go Eagles. Fly Eagles fly. Great job, Howie Roseman. Finally seeming like you listen to the people you hire. Peace out, everybody.